George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, live select as free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. A scourge sweeps across the jungle, spreading misery with an order of suffering on the side. Inappropriate dentures. Extreme tooth whitening. Come on, big guy. Show the world your pain. Have you seen anything sadder? No. No, you haven't. What could be behind this toothy terror? <laughs> Bad robot! <laughs> Those were my friends. George, you've been fighting robots non-stop for a week. Cut! Uh, robot nut! Uh, run out! Indeed. Maybe it's time we tackled this problem at the source. Good brain thing, ape! George, go to Robot Jungle! <laughs> Okay. Oh, hello, Robot George. Beep boop. Robot George, do something wrong. Robot George, not program for failure. <laughs> Robot George, it okay? It okay? No! Oh, George, I'm not the robot you. I have to say that way too often. Hey, oh, that close one. George, look. Manufactured by Chicago Dental Tronics. Aha! Dun dun dun! What's that mean? It means this! The jig is up, Dr. Chicago! Yeah! Stop, robot spam! Oh, wow. Doctor really let place go. Are the robots still out there? Wait. If Chicago no send robots and Robot Jungle no send robots, who send robots? My, my, Moopkins! <laughs> oh, yes, laugh it up! What do you call your mom? <laughs> oh, George Collar. George, have no mom! You're probably thinking, unless you're one of those fancy pants clones, don't most folks have moms? But George is an orphan. Plunked down in the great orphan storm of 99. Or was it 01? Oh, that's right. 01 was the year of that great hammocane. <laughs> now that was a doozy. <laughs> Picking pork out of my slacks for weeks. In fact, was that a little. Hmm, pork. George not know what it like to have mom. Hey, what, Chicago! Come out here at once! She's here. Let's go, George. Whatever's going on between Chicago and his Moomkins is none of our business. But George wants to know more about moms. <laughs> I'll save you. Deploying anesthetic ray. George, help me and I'll tell you anything. She wants to know about moons. Deal! I can't feel it in my brain! George, what are you doing? Sorry, Ape! George have to do this! But George, he's the enemy! Gingivitis is the real enemy. Cavity detected. <laughs> created by
like your son. So that makes me your grand. <laughs> Chicago always have sane mom? Unfortunately, yes. <sighs> what they call quality time? For oh, the Chicago's? Yes! Scan negative. Do all moms have robots? As far as I am aware, yes. <laughs> no, that's just zebra. Now you've seen my mom. You can't blame me for being completely crazy terrified. It's true. George never knew moms have so many lasers. Moms are complicated. They love you and care for you and hunt you down like an animal when you disappoint them by dropping out of dental school. George drop out of trees all the time. I wanted to be a mad scientist, not a dentist. But she'd never understand. Two smithery is in my family's blood. Yes, the Chicago's have a long and storied history of dental malpr- I meant that literally. We have teeth for blood. Wow, I, uh, how is he even alive? Ooh, shooting star! That's not a- It's coming straight for us! Ah! Negative. I am Cyber Cuspid. Moomkins is coming for you. Golly, resistance sure is futile. Knock it off, Cuspid. Moomkins will catch you in her loving embrace. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Just like Robot Choice. <laughs> an abomination, but he was my abomination. Oh, hug it out. <gasps> Go, George. A man cannot escape his moomkins. Chicago give up? There's no hope for me. I could never out-dentist my mother. But Chicago not dentist, Chicago mad scientist. You're right. I am a mad scientist. A great mad scientist. Well, I'm just as evil as any dentist. Time to show Moomkins what this mad scientist can do. At uh, Dr. Chicago? Yes, George. You think George's mom out there somewhere with evil robots to chase George too? Maybe, George, just maybe. There's no escape this time! <laughs> Mustache. You thought Stuart got it from his father? You turned your back on your family history! I'm gonna drill you into Adams! <gasps> Leave Evil Doctor alone! <sighs> George never said that before. I never wanted to be a dentist, Moomkins. <gasps> Drones! Annihilate him! I wanted to be a mad scientist, and that's what I am! <laughs> Me anymore, Robo Caspid. <gasps> ah, a fitting tribute, I suppose. Ah, I'm so proud of you, but I weren't you going to annihilate me? 
I only wanted you to be a dentist so you'd have a good foundation in pain and suffering. You may be a little wrong in the head, but you're definitely evil. So touching. Golly, did I miss the battle? Husband, you're alive. Of course he is. I picked up the pieces and gave him a new crown. He sure is swell. But could you do something, anything, about the unending pain? George, <laughs> thanks for putting Mumpkins and Sun back together. So we can crush you together as a family. George happy to learn what it like to have Mom. George just wish he had someone who cared for him, too. Put him down. Oh, hey, Ape. For the record, I've always thought of myself as more of a father figure. Ape, would it like to have father? <gasps> Papa Chicago! I didn't tell him I borrowed the robots! Run! I think it's time to leave, George. Can George call Ape Moonkins? No. Hello? Oh, shucks. Where'd they go? I brought free toothbrushes for everybody. The jungle, a savage place where might makes right. Where it's eat or be eaten, and it's usually be eaten. Wait, what's going on? What's that about? Uh, I don't know what to say. This is... Totally bonkers! It's like they're ready for war! Usually, they only ready for nap. Oh, no. I think I know what's happening. Quick, come with me, George. Sure. Don't worry about me or my research. Medieval sloth. That'll be a Nobel Prize for sure. <gasps> That'll be a Nobel Prize for sure! Backwards waterfall! Technically, it's water rise, and it's not a good sign. No! It's great! <laughs> On vacation from Crazy Town, back tomorrow. That seals it! Silly ape. No seals in jungle. You heard the man. Pack it up. George, all these strange occurrences, all these signs, they can only mean one thing. It's George's birthday? No, tomorrow is... <gasps> Bonkers Jungle Reversum Day! Hold on, how come I've never heard of that? Ah, here it is. Bonkers Jungle Reversum Day. It's an ancient jungle tradition where everything flips for a day. Plants chase animals. Prey goes after predators. The weak devour the strong. In short, everyone goes totally bonkers for 24 hours. Ooh, sound like fun. You, not at all. You'll need to be bad, George. Not a king, but a gnick. That's exactly what he must be. But... Bonkers Jungle Reverse someday might be ridiculous. It might even be illegal. But it's tradition. Do you think we like wearing this silly get-up every day? No, it's itchy. Itchy, itchy, itchy. It's tradition. And as Jungle King and Mentor, you two must set an example for the rest of the jungle. Or else. Or else what? You don't want to know. But George do want to know. <gasps> it begins! River Sunday! George, save Anteater! George? So, George not save Anteater? No, and in fact, you should probably make things worse. You're a gnick, remember? Be me! Uh, okay. Good. I mean, bad. Now come, there's more evil to do. 
don't tell, okay? <laughs> George, I know it's hard, but you need to be a worse king. Even I'm supposed to be a terrible mentor today. Eat this. Oh, but George no good at being bad. Feels wrong. Like when George put on loincloth backwards. What can we do? It's tradition. Now rub this poisonous plant on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd my little Nobel sloss go? Hmm? Mama needs some groundbreaking research. Wow! Those are replicas, right? Ugh. That's right, George. Only a terrible king would eat all these kittens. Come along. There's other animals to be mean to. Sorry, baby cats. If it make you feel better, you taste nice. Oh, it's like rat school all over again! Oh, man. I'm so worried. How am I ever going to get away from the slowest animal in the jungle? Oh, my gosh! They're crazy fast! Hey, Julie, in trouble! It appears so, but there's nothing. Ah! You can do, George. In fact, you should probably... Ah! Ah! Trip her or something. But George King! George's supposed to help. Help! Help me! I'll share a prize with you. I promise, no bells for every sloth. Is that boiling oil? George? No one can know me save you. Uh, me only save Magnolia because me want to eat her myself. George, wait, what are you? I don't know about you, but that looks like fake eating to me. Shoo, or it doesn't count. George can't do it. George can't be bad. It's wrong. <laughs> Magnolia tastes bad, too. <laughs> Any tradition that makes a grown man cry <laughs> because he had to chew on his friend's head can't be right. <laughs> Isn't this all just a little bonk? No! It's tradition! And by breaking it, you've triggered another tradition! The one that says anyone who breaks tradition gets thrown in old Hockey Fire Mountain over there! Here, here! Tips are the king! And the girl, too! Just because. George! Run for it! Ah! But you bad mentor! George, stay right here! And you're going into the volcano, too. <laughs> we hide here in tree until crazy backwards stay over. Ah, that's what this is? Why? Why would anyone do this? Meh, tradition. That's the dumbest thing I've ever... Ah! Hey, tree, stop being mean. They're over there. Uh, tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> Wait, George, <laughs> you two. Hi. Find new place to hide. Find them. I smell them. No, this way. They can't hide forever. My robe is so itchy. Uh, hi. Get her! No, 
Don't! This isn't working! No worry. George, no last place to hide. Um, I don't know, George. Seems a little obvious to me. No is perfect! See? No one here. Ah! We're going in the volcano, aren't we? <gasps> Bonkers Reversum Day is almost over. Can't we just say you threw us into the volcano? I'm an excellent fake screamer. No, please, why, why? See? They who break Reversum Day tradition will soon become an apparition. Nice. Last chance, loincloth. Be a good gnick and give cargo shorts here a molten rock jacuzzi, or it's bath time for all of you. No! George never do bad things! Not even for dumb tradition! <laughs> what? No, no, it's fine. I, uh, I just wanted to do it. You monsters! You can do them. Right! Oh! Yep, George finally decided to be good, Gnick. So he breaks the volcano open. <laughs> Gonna make big boom now. What? We're all doomed! I wanted to say that. Fix it! Fix it now! You say not to break tradition. Unless... You want to admit that tradition isn't an excuse for doing something horrible and dumb. Ah! I think they've learned their lesson. Now fix the volcano, George. No, you know fool George. Me know tradition very important. Besides, it's still reverse someday. Have a cool, see? Ah! It was still reverse someday. Ah! Ah! Not so bad. George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. A big, 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 then away he'll schlep on his elephant chef, Magnolia and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. If you're like me, you probably think, man, it'd be great to be a gorilla. Lounging around the jungle, eating bananas whenever you want. And don't get me started about all that amazing body hair. Lush. But some apes have it hard. Ah, stop! I'm awake! I'm up! Oh! Ah! George? George, time to get up. Uh... George don't want to get up. <laughs> oh, little me trapped in metal. Ape, <laughs> George can feed himself. <laughs> uh, frog? Oh, super big? No, George, the frog is close. Now, it's just further away. Frog shrink! How it goes so tiny! <gasps> Frog magic! <sighs> hmm, that's a serious snake jam. We'll have to untangle it and... Uh, ape? Help? <sighs> I'll get the soapy water. Ape! Ape! George need you! How did you get a bucket stuck on your head? <laughs> How else George know if it fits? Uh, George no likey. It's just a spoon. There's no little George in it. Ah, little George scared too. Everything okay, George? George can't find way out. Turn the door handle, George. Tiny room filled with water. <sighs> Those were the taps, George. <laughs> 
do you mean you just lost it? How do you lose your arm? It's looking at me. It's meatloaf, George. I make it for you every Thursday. <coughs> it alive? It's not alive. Then where it go, huh? Ah. Uh... It go home to meet friends, plan revenge. <coughs> and then the good jungle king George lived happily ever after. Good night, George. <coughs> good night, eh? It's not that I'm sad, it's not that I'm mad, it's just that I wonder if I've sometimes been had. Just like a flower, I need room to grow, just like the wind, I need space to blow. A brain needs to think, a skunk needs to stink, but I'm like a pen that's run out of ink. I only have one question, but it's more than essential. I wonder, just I wonder, am I living up to my potential? Potential! Potential! <sighs> what? No, no, no. That will never work for a trip to Mars. You'll be pulled into Jupiter's gravity well. <laughs> there. Much better. Hmm. Knight takes queen in six. Ah! Checkmate! Now that's a pickle. But if you solve for the square root of x, then it's just an, an inverse, inverse polynomial! polynomial. Ah! Whoa! Hold on! It's okay. I just want to talk to someone with an IQ in the triple digits. I mean, have you seen Cuspid? Gotta love him. But he's basically a walking display of my failure. I figured maybe we could... Uh, Are you asking me out? Just to hang out and talk about smart stuff. I don't know. It's a stupid idea. One condition. No evil. No goody-goody stuff either. Pinky swear. So, do you like hyper chess? Never heard of it. Kidding. I invented it. <laughs> that we'd have the same favorite noble gas. <clears throat> <laughs> Where Ape been? Oh, you know, the jungle. Ape missed George drowning cereal, and lake on fire, and bathroom swim, and bedtime story. George even do meatloaf night himself. <laughs> Argon. Oh, what happened here? Oh, Doc, oh my gosh, thank goodness you're back. There was an imposter, but don't worry, I got him good. Where were you anyway? You missed video games and flossing. <laughs> and my birthday. Ah, uh, uh, I was out counting trees, you know. One, two, three. <laughs> Wait, 
trees can't count. Hey, there's more than one, two, three trees in the jungle. What's going on? Maybe a death laser? You promised no evil. How about an eco-tank that shoots out trees? Ew! That's so goody-goody, I'm getting covered in brownie points just thinking about it. Hmm. If you've got a better idea of what to build this afternoon... Giant robot? It's a classic. Too easy. Make it a giant robot octopus and I'm in. Done! We've got about an hour until Cuspin and George accidentally set something on fire, so that's more than enough time. Hey, how could you? Doc, why I never... Your doctor stole my ape! Your ape stole my doctor! What do you do about it? What are you going to do about it? I don't know! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we should work together and teach them a lesson! Yeah, but with who? And done. 48 minutes. Not bad. Who wants to take her out for a scuttle first? We know Ape and Doctor's secret. Yeah, we know it all. Cuspid, get out of there this minute. George, come down and I'll explain everything. No. Not till Ape and Doctor make up to George and Big Tooth thing for lying. Please. Forget it. No problem. It's only right. And so, to save their best pals, Ape and Dr. Chicago quickly came up with an incredibly smart plan. A plan so brilliant, so ingenious, so incredible, that it was far too smart for our writers or artists to think up or draw. <laughs> Not too close for George. No kidding. I'm gonna need at least three fillings. We're just glad you're safe, ish. You know, George tests the limits of my intellect every single day. It's true. Without Cuspid, my life would be far too easy. <laughs> Better, but too easy. Oh. Plus, you and I are too different to stay friends. Tree planting? Death lasers. Enemies again? <laughs> <laughs> How did you get a bucket on your head again? One of the rarest and most exotic of jungle fauna, the Flooper Beast, is famous for exactly two things. Its luxurious feather fur worth millions on the runways of Paris, Milan, and Saskatchewan. And of course... <sighs> Floofing. But since we can't actually show floofing for reasons of common decency, we'll have to do this. That's right, floof away. While Tiger gives you hippies a laser-guided haircut. Ah! Ah! <laughs> this jungle's supposed to be my personal huntopia. Paid for by selling tiny, floofy clothes to models all over the world. But no matter what I try, that 
George of the Jungle is always in the way. The stubbly net launcher. The macho pit trap. The positively dripping with testosterone rope snare. Maybe we could get him out of the way first? Top-notch brain work, Weevil, and bottom-rung timing. Why didn't your brain butter this up earlier? You know, maybe we ow, could get George out of the ow, way first. Why, ow, Weevil? Maybe we could get George out of the way first. Why, Weevil? Maybe we could get George out. No. No reason. Come, Weevil. Catching that fool will be the simplest of gambits. We have everything we need. Blast! Are you a prince? Weevil! Hold your lips. One, there's no kissing in the jungle. And two, this is a poisonous no-licky frog. And it's exactly what we need. Yes, the no-licky frog, one of nature's cruelest inside jokes. Years ago, they were actually known as, wow, you've really got to try this. Go on, give it a good licky, frogs. This was due to their unique flavor, which has been described as butterscotch mixed with happy memories of childhood. The frogs got so tired of being licked that they held a vote. It was unanimous. They wanted the licking to stop. They presented their idea to the Ape Council. But the Council had one of their own. <laughs> now, trap me a hundred more for morning. I'm taking a strategic eye nap. Come now, man! Put a frog in your mouth! <sighs> oh, George got a little crazy with coconut milk last night. We're head medicine. <laughs> George, late for first patrol! Ooh, are you a prince? <laughs> George, another late morning? Ooh, what a mess of strange flesh-like pudding. Ah, George, hold on! Ah! Tuckle, Worst case of no licky frog poisoning I've seen this week. Fix George. Yes, please tell us there's a... There's no cure. It's incurable. The way I see it, your days as king are done. Surely there are options. There are tons of options for someone in your condition. George can be a pro run. Modern art. Pizza dough. But George, you know what? Don't interrupt me when I'm on a roll, son. A hammock. Better than cardboard. An oversized coaster. No! George Jungle King, not Jungle Coaster! Super Beast need George! Uh, little help here. I'll get the bucket. You're a fancy one, but not for long. Stop, rapscallions! Let George at Hunters! <laughs> No time for nap! George stuck! <laughs> George, not give up! Floofing happened here. Extra floofy. They can't be far. Yeah! George from above! <laughs> Mad Eagle, put George down! George, order Eagle! Take George back to. Oh. Hold on, flipper beast! Ow, ow, ow. I'm coming! Must lose faster! Oh, George will stop you!
Huh? George failed, floofer beasts. George no good to anyone. Floof. Maybe one thing George can do. Oh, George bad king, but good blanket. Wait, George have brain thought thing. Wait, no, stop, floofer beasts. George Collywell here, because George need help stopping Tiger and Weevil. What happened to you? He licked a no-licky frog. One of these? Wait! <laughs> oh, yeah, tastes like life! George have idea, but need sewing machine and friends with bones. You floofed your last floof. Someone's poaching my flooper beast! George can still be good king with help. You itchy! Put hair on outside next time! Put on your shearing pants, Weevil. You've got feathers to shave. No one gets to jump on Tiger! Let the flooper beast go! Yes, do that now! It's nap time! That isn't sporting. It's just weird. <laughs> Come on, man. Shorts go save floofer beast. I love you, Ape. <laughs> in a can. Now the flooper beast won't have to suffer. I never would have thought this up without my new lab coat. George helped Magnolia do science. You bet. Hey, knock it off. This is a kid's show. Magnolia, uh, George no can turn away. Yes. <laughs> Leotard? Too retro. How about a nice blazer? Too fancy. Sorry, George, but we're running out of clothes to turn you into. George! I'm going to turn you into an amazing dress! And how that stop Tiger and Weevil? And since when do you care about dresses? Okay, it won't, and I don't. But the science awards are coming up, and I'll be the only one there wearing another human being! How cool is that? Right. How about a nice apron? Ape, it's time to stop fooling around! And turn into my living dress? No, George have to hit Tiger where it hurts. <sighs> George, perfect fit. Get off me! I only wear natural fibers. Way more! No, Bad Hunter Man wear George jacket from now on. Hey, make king of jungle strong as me can be. Me ah, watch them for that day. Sweaters! Don't sing! Right to me and me! Ah, me watch out for that tree! Yeah. Me, me, take up jungle song as big as me! Finally. <laughs> By Hemingway's ghost, I had a horrible dream! Really? Tell George about it. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Ooh, now George Bellytop, daring. Like so many men before, I have been defeated by fashion. Tiger? No, Weevil. Turn away before I... <clears throat> Man cry. <laughs> I'll give you anything if you'll just unbutton yourself and slip off my shoulders, sweater man. Tiger promise to leave Floofer Beast alone? Yes! I swear it! High five, eh? Uh, yes, um... George, you moved! You're getting better! You were wrong. I guess that's what happens when you're not a real doctor. Oh... I thought you'd be thrilled. Uh, George just found pattern for scarf. An eight birthday coming. George, I'd wear you any day.
George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a scrape, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape. And then away he'll schlep on his elephant shed while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Far from the eyes and ears of George of the Jungle, a crack team of experts embark on a mission so dangerous they were paid in diapers. Are we making a right turn? And those diapers are going to come in handy because this mission is about to go horribly wrong. in the jungle of Mwimbawe. Run away, Floyd! George, aim for the emergency hippos! <laughs> Not out, Floyd! Oh, George, out down! Oh, that looked like it hurt. Oh, ain't worry too much. Take these earplugs. What for? Yeah! <laughs> uh, could we have a single file line, please? Hello? How come they understand George but not me? Because you don't speak hippo? Where is George, anyway? George is inside, getting healed by head nurse Magnolia, whose hard work and dedication has made the Healing Hippo Hospital. No, no, wait. Magnolia's sparkling castle of hippo health, the jungle's premier source for warm mugs and magic. Does that mean George is okay? I put some ointment on him. <laughs> uh, what's that noise? Mr. Jungle. Oh, Mr. of the Jungle. But we don't use middle names around here. Just call me George. I apologize. Pando, my card. Edward Madman? A pronounced madman. <laughs> this is Mr. Pando, my loyal and completely trustworthy associate. <laughs> Do not be frightened. His looks could kill, but he could not. <laughs> you see? To meet a legend is always disarming. <laughs> I expected you'd be... Less greasy? Uh, George just got some owie ointment. Yeah. On second thought, you are what I expected of a man raised in the jungle. Also, what I desperately need. Where can we talk? Anywhere but in a library. <laughs> There is nothing like the outdoors. Do you agree, George? Oh, true. But indoors has more furniture. I just love the feeling of the earth beneath Pando's feet. So, loving nature as I do, and being a Brazilianaire, I decided to use my vast wealth to build my own jungle. You built a jungle? Yes. It's an exact duplicate of your own jungle, George, in every detail, from the twisting rivers to the berries on the trees. But just don't eat the berries that fell off of Rhino's backside. Yucky aftertaste. Good advice. <laughs> I'll remember that, Mr. Pando. I give you Isla Guapo. Bird Poop Island? Uh, that's Guano. Guapo is handsome. Oh, oh, Guano isn't. No, 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 it isn't. 
I flew in one million tons of soil, trees, birds, animals. I believe I've actually improved on your own jungle, George. Oh! <laughs> Can't you prove a George's jungle? It has an ice cream stand with 55 flavors and two dozen toppings. Pando, show George the toppings. Oh, mini marshmallows! Oh. But mini marshmallows do not come for free. I need a little favor. I need a little more ointment. Three friends of mine are lost. They went into the jungle on a Vacation. You want George to rescue your friends? Oh, you don't have to give George mini marshmallows for that. Oh, but I will pay you mini marshmallows and more. You and your team. Your best surveillance expert. Uh, has anyone seen my binoculars? Your muscle. <laughs> your eyes and ears in the sky. Okay. And your master of disguise. Oh, delicious termite beard. Oh. And someone to put ointment on your owies. <laughs> Together, you'll help me find my friends, and I will be grateful. I thank you all for coming. Someone's got to keep an eye on George. Oh, she's right. No, we had to take a helicopter. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of heights. Yeah, and when an ape gets carsick, it isn't pretty. <laughs> I assure you, the helicopter is safe, and you'll find my island stocked with the most delicious bugs money can buy. <laughs> I'm in. And at the center of the island, you'll find a world-class spa. With an angle body scrub, mud bath, and hair mask? Why, of course. Okay! my associates I spoke of. I'm sure they've simply wandered into the jungle and are having such a good time they won't come out. <laughs> they don't look all that friendly. Oh, they're a fine bunch. You'll probably find them in the shade of a majestic volcano drinking guava nectar. <laughs> <laughs> if you could just find them before they get too much fruity fiber. Take us down nice and slow, Pando. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Isla Wapol. Which doesn't mean bird poop. <laughs> well, I'm off to my yard. <laughs> What? You, you don't want to stay out here with us? The ground is our mattress, sky is our blanket, the moon is our annoying nightlight, which you can never turn out, and with the fire ants and the overly friendly beach fleas. Oh, don't get me wrong, I love nature more than anything, but I also love fluffy blankets and flat screen TV. A fluffy blanket? Well, good night, everyone. And if you hear some weird, unnatural sounds at night, why, just ignore them. <laughs> Ta-ta! What a nice and not at all suspicious man! <laughs> More driftwood soup? Gee, thanks, no. What do we know about this madman? He says he loves the jungle, but he sleeps on a yacht a mile away. This whole thing worries me. Why? Girls are gonna get mango mud bath thingies? Oh. I could use a bath. George gets new man-made jungle to explore. Ape gets big juicy bugs. You're just being a big worrying Walter. A skeptical Sam. A cautious Calvin. 
Did you guys get a thesaurus or something? Indubitably. It's illustrated. <gasps> what was that? A water buffalo? You think? Not buffalo. A bit like Rhino getting wedgie, but not quite. Well, you know all the animals. What is it? George never heard this animal before. I hope they're up to the task ahead, Mr. Pando. <laughs> Mr. Pando? On the mysterious Isla Guapo, which doesn't mean island of bird poop, George's crack rescue team helps the mysterious Mr. Madman find his missing friends, who are said to be having so much fun, they don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Ape's forehead has developed squiggly lines on top. Hmm, I'm worried about those noises we heard last night. Oh, Ape is such a pessimistic Paul. Always thinks coconut is half empty. Uh. <sighs> I think that one was completely full. There, that's the spirit. I can't wait to get to that spa. Magnolia, we're not here to get our hair done. This is a serious rescue mission. Ah! Ah! Mr. Batman, mine, you startled me. Good morning, George of the Jungle and friends. Uh, good morning. I trust that you slept well, and now it is time for you to go home. Hooray! But we need to rescue your friends. Yes, these people are safely aboard my yacht. Yacht. My yacht now. No more rescue. Hooray! <laughs> But, Mr. Madman? Madman! Okay, Crack Rescue Team! Let's rescue! Ouch! Looks like the fastest way to the majestic volcano is past the Cave of Ghostly Shrieks, up Slaughter Mountain, and through Dead Man's Rock Slide? And what's a slow way? Hmm. Better ask Friendly Bird if we're going the right way. Hello. than usual. Why? <laughs> hmm. Just asking. Maybe George should climb up and see directions for himself. <laughs> hmm. no! <laughs> George is starting to think trees don't want George to climb them. Hey, guys, where's Shep? Shep? Shep! 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 Here, boy! Uh, George, I think he went this way. Uh, <laughs> right. His tracks end here. <laughs> Bandages? Limb glue? Limb glue? Oh, please! George will save you! <laughs> it came from that way! Oh, George doesn't 
doesn't understand anything in this jungle. Oh. <laughs> Was that Madman's friends? Was that a half tiger, half giraffe? <laughs> Glad I wasn't at that wedding. <laughs> uh, huh. George will save them. How? Luckily, there's a worn out bridge over a big pit with ropes that are just about to break. Oh, goody. <laughs> Ursula, if I don't make it, I want you to send my clogs to the Museum of Shoes. Magnolia, you're going to make it. But just for the record, why can't I keep them? Because my feet are naturally dainty. <laughs> the humans you brought to defeat me will never succeed, Mr. Madman and Elephant. George is the greatest jungle expert in the world. He will overcome you. Nature is harsh, Mr. Madman. Your friends will soon find out how harsh. <laughs> So, I'm a worried Walter, am I? A cautious Calvin? A... I'm a petrified Peter! Oh, <laughs> I call him, sir? Hey, wait a minute. There is no such animal. Uh, uh, uh. Excuse me there, Mr. No Such Animal. George was wondering if you could stop chasing my friends. You're kind of scaring them. an empty metal cavity. It's more like an empty coconut. Oh, thanks! <laughs> Bet you're glad I'm here to save you, huh? <laughs> but but now you're trapped down here with us. Yes, but I brought along a crack rescue team. A robotic snake with razor-sharp teeth? Oh, don't be silly! <laughs> Done. No, you poor robotic image. 
imitation snake that somebody made. George, you did it. You saved us. And you saved Madman's friends. It's Mad Mun. The whole jungle is mechanical. Everything's motors and wires. The trees, the animals. Oh, boy. The control center became intelligent. It started inventing new creatures to attack us. Sanchez and Moldrick were supposed to get me inside so I could shut it down. I say we take the jungle boy with us. He was pretty handy with that snake. Uh, maybe when he gets his confidence back. <laughs> it's okay. You'll be okay. We're okay. <laughs> shut me down. You will never shut me down. <laughs> 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 <laughs>